Python for Expert series. Uh, so in this previous video, in the previous video we talked about that how to access and uh, make the meta class. Um, so basically we use this, and now in this video we're gonna study about decorators. So first let me comment this out. Okay, so we're gonna study about basically decorators. So what are decorators? Decorators basically they are used to modify or uh, modify or let's say have some changes in a function or a class without even touching it so uh, let's uh, move and say what I meant by that so first of all let me give some example to you so here's a function function fun and now let me define a wrapper function in it and it'll access basically a wrapper a function f so there's a fu uh, function wrapper f function and uh, which has an argument f argument and now we're gonna print something let's say i'm printing that uh, start and the second argument basically I would be just returning my this uh, function which uh, I took as an argument here and the uh, third line I will say end and now I just basically return my wrapper here so note guys that I'm not returning the object or the instance of the wrapper here I'm just returning the uh, function over here okay so by object I means I'm putting these two brackets over there so I'll show you that uh, what if I do that what if I return the object then what's gonna be the output so now I'll just basically make a function over here which goes by the name func2 and and now I'll just basically so define a new function over here <clears throat> and before uh, using this uh, a func to method over here or function over here I'm um, uh, object uh, we're gonna just define a new func to function which is uh, something like this and now let's say that it will print me something inside inside func two okay so now here guys I making this uh, function two as an object over here which uh, so let me run this okay inside function two two okay okay so i was basically simply calling it and that's why my wrapper function over here is not being called over here so let me make some changes over here the wrapper function won't accept any argument instead the func function will accept our argument because we are not using we are using just wrapper function to basically wrap up all the arguments in of this function and all the arguments of this uh, function wrapper and just printing it out okay so now we'll just basically say that uh, inside the function inside the function this uh, function we are having a uh, uh, will pass the new fun parameter over here for f which is uh, fun2 and now we're just gonna return our this x over here as an object so you can see that uh, we have something like this the output looks like this that start it's printing the start and now inside function inside fun2 which is this uh, function to function to function and now the end which is this uh, so what what uh, it's doing over here is that first of all this function func is accepting an argument which is uh, function to and now it's it goes inside uh, this uh, wrapper function over here and now this uh, I'm calling just my function this function f as an object and that's why the output looks something like this and that's a this is a very basic thing so I hope this one's clear for you so so now guys uh, we are uh, just uh, basically uh, 
using this uh, this uh, syntax to first of all to create an object and then calling the, that object of the function so what if guys that uh, there's another way to do this now and uh, the another way looks something like this if I do something like this func2 is equals to func and inside those func2 I'll just basically give my uh, function2 and now if I call my function2 argument over here then you can see that it's printing the same thing okay the the, out, the output basically is same so you must be thinking that what's the difference between the difference between this one and the previous one which I did so first let me just comment this out and now if you just only call this uh, function to over here as an object then you can see that we have only uh, uh, the out the output is of only the function two. The only the function this func func two function is basically printed over here and not this uh, whole func function. Uh, so uh, to basically print all those in combine, we just basically use this use the syntax or you can see we can we can say we can define func2 like this too so now moving to decorators so deco uh, and now here guys the here comes the rule of the decorators so decorators basically they can be used to just let's say that the access this function um, for this function without even like let's say that uh, defining this whole object thing over here and now to do that there's a very basic syntax just use the at the rate and the name of the function uh, a name of the function of the class to which you want to make the decorator so here I want to make this func function as my decorator so I'll just say func and now you have to just basically call your uh, function 2 over here simply call your function 2 and you can see that uh, by using this decorator at the rate uh, func we have accessed this uh, function over here the func function over here okay so I hope no uh, so I must be sure that uh, this thing must be clear to you till now so let's move forward for, uh, further let's define another function over here with the same decorator so we'll say that uh, def func free and let's and inside this function let's give an argument over here and we'll say print we'll say print just x okay and uh, now you can see that uh, there uh, so if we call this uh, function 2 there will be no error but if we call this function 3 there will be an error and the error would be okay missing one argument position x so let's give the value for this 5 let's call it since so first let me just uh, close this out and the so for the function 2 you can see uh, for the function 2 you can see that uh, the outs or the output is the same but uh, when we are moving for the function 3 the output isn't the same because in the error says that type error wrapper takes zero positional arguments but one was given okay so you can see that uh, when we move further inside this function func there's a wrapper function too which doesn't have any positional arguments over here and that's why when this function 3 uses this func as in as a decorator so it looks for it looks it, it looks basically for a positional argument inside this wrapper function and it doesn't found it so it throws me this error so for solving this you can use uh, what we studied in our intermediate series the args and the cogs keyword so what are basically the args and cogs keyword basically uh, let me just uh, remind you that args uh, basically means that uh, some very uh, some arguments without any key value 
uh, uh, sorry or without any key and this arg quarks basically keyword arguments basically by the name itself it is clear that it basically means something uh, a value which has key too so the example for quarks is a dictionary which has a, a positional arg which has a key and the value associated with it and now if i print this okay positional arguments was given x okay so we haven't called this um, args argument so by defining this key uh, quarks in args we basically are telling our python that the python that uh, we don't know how many uh, positional arguments will be there they can be zero they can be one they can be hundred two and uh, so for accessing those uh, uh, arguments without any let's say without without any problem we we can just use the args and the quarks so when when this function 2 is called then you can see there is zero position arguments so the um, the python will say okay so there are zero position arguments no problem we can still access to uh, that and uh, when it when the function 3 is called so the python says okay there is a one position argument so we can access that too so now and now first of all let me clear my screen and now if i run this quarks is not defined okay there's an error and name i'm doing this so much error nowadays and you can see that start inside func2 and start this function 3 is called start then printing the value of 5 and then end okay so now i think this must be clear to you so let me just uh, come in my uh, form 2 over here let me just uh, basically delete it so the now let's say that we have two positional arguments x and y and basically we want something we want our y2 and giving the position arguments for x and y will give 5 comma 10 and now if i print it start five and you can see that my this uh, y value for y is not printed over here okay so let's do some more changes and let's see that what's gonna be the output so let's say guys that uh, we want to create a new we will create a uh, an object of one three over here and now if i call my x let's say this this let's call it another thing let's call it a and uh, now if i'm printing my this a object over here then uh, let me first clear my screen then you can see that uh, my uh, in, in in this uh, function 3 my return value for y is basically none because inside this uh, wrapper function over here we aren't returning the value for y so why is that happening so uh, the ha this is happening because we are just basically simply returning this uh, function f we are not just returning this function f we are just calling this function f and we aren't returning anything inside uh, inside uh, uh, for, for that for that function for for this function f so basically if you don't call your return a return value if you if, if your return isn't called then it will obviously show you an error so that's why the uh, this uh, none is being printed over here so to solve that we will just basically say that z is equals to we just basically store it in uh, something and now if we print if i return this my z over here okay. okay you can see that uh, this my start is being printed over here then the 5 is being printed this print x5 and this end and then when i call this return z my return y is being printed over here so that's that's how you can use the uh decorators with args and quarks 
and basically it is very uh, it is recommended that you always use this args in quotes because you don't know how many arguments can be there in your uh, this function which you uh, for which you wanted to use your decorator so i hope this concept is basically clear to you so that uh, that's all for this decorator so basically you can use tech uh, so let me give you another example for decorator practical example is that let's say that you are defining a function you are defining a you you are basically making a website a django website so there's a decorator over here uh, in in django it's, it's called login required decorator so what it does base uh, so <clears throat> so uh, by the name it's uh, when you call this decorator so there must be a decorator present a login de a login required named decorator present at the back end so which basically checks which takes all the arguments inside inside a function for which you wanted to say that the login is required for this for accessing this function um, in in the front end and when and when the when the login dec required decorator is called so it basically takes all the uh, position uh, all the argument inside the function and it basically authenticates it with the backend so that's how you can use your decorator so basically uh, to validate something to let's say yeah, yeah to validate a function a whole function without even changing this whole function so what you have to do is basically just uh, define your decorator by add the rate and the decorate and the function of the class name and that's it so that's how you can validate or access the another function for for another function or a class so that's how you can do it so that's all for this uh, decorator so if you like this video please do subscribe to code initiators and like this video share with your programmers fan till then goodbye take care and keep coding